Hey guys, it's me. So I am doing this totally 100% spontaneous. And if you know me at all, you know that's how I roll with things. So today I am rearranging my living room, which means I also get to move my bookshelves. So I wasn't gonna do this today and I actually just talked to my husband last night. I was like, do you care if I, if we, I said we, like, I want your permission, but I'm gonna do it myself most likely. So I was like, do you care if we rearrange the living room? And he's like, no, I guess I don't care if we rearrange the living room. So here we are. We're gonna be rearranging the living room. So um, let's see. I'm gonna turn you guys around so I can show you kind of like what I'm doing. Okay, so this is my living room. So right now I'm standing in my dining room and this is what my living room looks like. Um, the shelves back there are my original shelves that I used to have all of my books on and um, it's really a mess. <laughs> it's really a mess right now. But the plan is to um, move all of my bookshelves right here, these big tall ones. Um, we're gonna move those, or I'm gonna move those, because I'm the only one home right now. My husband is at a jujitsu competition today, so he's gone and my kids are gone. So it's just me and a cat. It's just me and Heimdall today, and Heimdall is a great partner. All he does is sleep. He's so much fun. So I'm moving these big bookshelves, and I'm going to be putting them on this wall here. Um, I, they'll fit. I'm gonna make them fit. I don't know if they're gonna fit exactly, but it's it's what it's gonna be. So this cupboard right here is our school cupboard, and then that is like our art cart, and that's what's just gonna get moved off the wall and put somewhere else. So the goal is to take our huge couch that I absolutely had to have, and it's gonna go in this corner where these bookshelves are at, and the bookshelves are gonna go over here, and um, those bookshelves on the back wall are going to stay um, we are going to be taking the TV off the wall because I'm just tired of having a TV like be the center of attention in the living room. I really don't like it and we're going to be um, taking that down and not not using it because none of us like it. We all hate its guts. Um, and this little TV right here is my husband's like gaming TV because if you're a gamer you know you kind of need to be close to the screen to like actually see what the heck you're doing. So um, we're going to just be using that TV from now on and it's just going to sit on like a coffee table. But I will show you guys that when I'm done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this whole thing finished today. Not likely, but um, we're going to, I'm going to try to get as much of it done as possible. Um, so today is Saturday, May 8th and this is kind of like my Mother's Day present to myself because I get so bored with the way things are set up in my house. I am always moving the furniture around um, and it's just a fact of my life. So just turn myself around. I realize you guys don't like need to stare at my living room the entire time. So basically what I'm going to be doing is taking all of those books off of my bookshelf and I'm going to be putting them on our dining room table back here. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is vacuum. I have a ton of vacuuming that needs to be accomplished so and I'm like a Nazi about like the floor being clean so I'm gonna vacuum that's the first thing I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna start moving books and then move the bookshelves and then I'm going to um, move the couch and then vacuum where the couch was at um, so yeah I'm just this is gonna be like a long project so I'm just gonna get started doing it and I will check in every once in a while with you guys maybe or I might just get in the zone and just like work really hard and get it all accomplished but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this project this spontaneous project that Allison is known for Okay, so I have all of my shelves are empty, 
they're all the way empty now. Um, so I'm gonna be moving them to this wall over here so you guys can watch me struggle to move um, big heavy things that are like let's see if we can get okay so here's me they're like two feet taller than I am so um, this is gonna be fun I do stuff like this all the time um, the last really big thing I moved by myself that I should have had help with was our king-size mattress that weighs more than half of what I do so <laughs> that was kind of dumb but anyways, I survived. I didn't get smoshed by the mattress, even though I was thinking that's what was going to happen, but it didn't. So I'm going to, I was just wanted to check in because I know it can get boring if you're just watching like a really long time lapse. So I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that my next steps are actually, actually, you know what? I'm a liar. I have to move my shelves out of the way of that corner so then I can move the couch and then I can get my shelves on the wall. So. That has to happen first. So I'm gonna move my couch first, which, no, I'm gonna move my bookshelves first. Then I'm going to move the couch. And then, and then I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do probably another check-in at that point. So we'll, we'll get it figured out one way or the other. Alright guys, so time for another chicken. So I have my couch moved. That was fun. Uh, I got my reading chair right there. I'm not sure how this is gonna like stay like this. Um, I think it's gonna stay like that. I'll just, I'm not sure what we're going to do with the TV, but like I said, the whole reason that I'm doing this is because I'm tired of the TV being the center of attention in the living room because we hardly ever use it. So. Um, the next thing I'm doing is moving. Wow, that's really grainy. I apologize. It's like the weather is super weird today. Um, but I'm going to put my bookshelves on this wall here. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. Just wanted to check in and break up this time lapse thing a little bit because y'all know how that can be like pretty awful. Okay, that's better. Hey, now you can see outside. That's outside my house. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. That got super dark. We're just gonna look over here where it's lighter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move the bookshelves and that is gonna go back to the time lapse thing. So I will check in with you in just a little bit. All right, friends, so I finally have all of my bookshelves up. It took a little bit of time to get them like leveled up and stuff because we live in a, like a really old house. It's over like a hundred years old. Um, so like nothing's level anymore. Even, I don't even know if it started out level because it's so old, but um, I had to mess around with leveling them up a little bit so they're more sturdy and not quite so shaky and whatnot and I had to do that when they were over in the corner anyways. So I knew that was going to happen but now I have them all clean, they're all dusted, they're ready to get books put back on them so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I think I'm honestly, I think I'm just going to just leave the camera rolling and um, 
I'm not gonna do this a time lapse. It might be sped up, but I don't think it will be a time lapse. So, um, just so that you guys can kind of see like how I put up my shelves, I did take pictures of them before I took all of my books off them because I literally some shelves I want them to stay the exact same way that they were. Um, but for the most part, um, I I'll just figure it out as I'm going. So that is the plan from here on out. Okay, so I have my shelves all completed. I'm so I'm just really happy that they're moved now. Um, I don't remember if you guys got a good look at the way they were before, but they were like shoved in a corner, and I had to like basically hide behind my couch to um, get any kind of uh, shot while I was filming. So th this is the main reason I wanted to move them because I thought maybe you guys could see more of my shelves in the video and also um, maybe not feel so cramped and like actually have space because I just didn't have any space to like set anything down or or whatever and it was just it was just really hard to film in that spot so that's the reason one of the reasons why I wanted to arrange rearrange everything and then I also really like the way my couch is right now um, it seems more like a place where we can like come to chill as a family and not have like a bunch of distractions and stuff so I really like where it's at now I'm really pleased with it I wish I would have put it there like five years ago um, but anyways it's where it's at now so it's good and it's great and I'm gonna um, actually flip you guys around again and kind of give you like a small rundown of my shelves they are just a little bit different than they were before but it's not gonna take very long so I will go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here is a portion of my shelves. So I have three shelves and I forgot to say that they are from Ikea. They're the Billy bookcases from Ikea and they're the 74 or 78 inch tall ones. So they're not the tallest ones, but they're not the, um, the they have like three sizes of tall bookshelves and these are like the middle size. So they have one that's smaller than that, which just means that, um, this shelf would be gone so it would just be those ones that are down and then the one that's bigger than this one has one more um up there but my ceilings aren't tall enough for those so um i ended up getting the medium size so this shelf right here this first shelf on the left is um it has my aragon and my lord of the rings collection on the top the very top shelf is just storage um I have my copy of A Court of Silver Flames up there because I'm waiting for the dust jackets that I bought from Touch of Magic Designs. Um, those are going to be a while before they get here. So that book is just sitting up there because it's waiting for that. Um, so it's basically just storage. And then under that is Aragon and Lord of the Rings. And then underneath of that is... So it's uh, Red Rising slash like a sci-fi shelf. So it's mostly just Red Rising. I have my... Um, let's see... 
my Fairy Loot Red Rising set, and then I have the Barnes & Noble Special Edition of Red Rising, um, and then just regular editions of Red Rising through Dark Age, and then I have a candle from Flick the Wick, and that uh, little tiny thing is a Dream in a Bottle from Dream in a Bottle on Etsy, and then I have a copy of Ninth House, and then I have the Special Edition of Dune. Then shelf below that is another sci-fi-ish shelf. Um, it's got the Skyward and Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. It's got Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. It has the Illuminate Files by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. There's a candle in there from the Illuminate Files from Flick the Wick. And then I have the Nevernight Trilogy. And then the last two books in the Deva Bad Trilogy by S.A. Chakraborty. And then To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. Um, the Deva Bad Trilogy is not necessarily sci-fi and neither is Nevernight really, but they both could be considered sci-fi if you really wanted them to. And then the shelf below that is historical fiction. I don't have a lot of historical fiction, but it's a, it's a genre that I really enjoy reading. Um, I do have a couple of like non-fictions in there. And then there's the thriller slash suspense um, trilogy by Justin Cronin. And then that's pretty much it. And then below that is a lot of YA fantasy. Uh, like I have Bone Cryer's Moon, um, Blood and Honey, Amber and Dusk, uh, there's some older series, uh, Great and Terrible Beauty by Lib Liba Bray, and then the Lux um, series by Anna Goberson. That's pretty much all that's down there. So that is the first shelf. The second shelf in the row um, on the top is just like decorative. There's some book sleeves on the left, a couple of candles from uh, Wick and Jane that I got in her Winter and Valeris box, and then I have a couple of hidden books from Fairy Loot, and then the big one is another hidden book, it's Metal, and that was from Illubicrate, it came in their um, box they did for the special editions of um, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, and then I have another candle from Wick and Jane, and then that Howler's box is a box that came from Flick the Wick, and it's just holding some of my smaller candles in it. The next shelf is my Court of Thorns and Roses shelf. I have some Flick the Wick candles. I have the Court of Thorns and Roses special edition, the original hardcovers for the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I have some candles from Razzmatazz that my friend Brianna got me. I have a couple of Melting Library candles. Um, those shelfy characters are from, um, oh, what's that shop called? Uh, Touch of Magic Designs, the plaque thing stand is from Flick the Wick, and then those candles um, on the side, on the right, are also from Flick the Wick. They just have art on them by Mona Leem. And then below that is my part of my Harry Potter collection. Um, so in the Fantastic Beast box is Newt's Commander's Wand, and then the wand right in front of that is um, his girlfriend. Who's Newt's girlfriend in Fantastic Beasts? I can't remember her name, but that's her wand. And then I have the UK hardcovers of Harry Potter. I have the Mina Lima edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And then I have the Slytherin edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I really need to get the rest of those that are out because I just need to have them. Like, I clearly have room for them. And then that really cute candle right there is from Flick the Wick. It's part of their, like, House Pride collection that they did. It's stinking cute. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I have a Newt pop and a McGonagall pop and then just an empty candle drawer that was Hogwarts. The shelf below that is another sci-fi type shelf. Um, it has a couple of candles from Flick the Wick on there from Strange, the Strange the Dreamers duology by Lena Taylor. I have the Bone Season series by Samantha Shannon. I have the UK hardcovers of Skyward and Starside by Brandon Sanderson. And then I have the Illumicrate Special Editions of the Daughter and Smoke and Bone series, and then the Illumicrate Special Editions of Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmare, uh, Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. And then those bookends also came in the Illumicrate box. Um, they are based off of the Daughter of Smoke, Daughter of Smoke and Bone series as well. And then the shelf below that is just the rest of my historical fiction, well, classics and historical fiction. Um, these ones right here were written by a local author, 
groups. Um, so like no, literally like no one's ever heard of them if you're not from central Michigan and you're not older. Um, the next is my Anne of Green Gables um, editions from Source Books, and then I have Homegoing, a C.S. Lewis book, and then the Bronze Horseman trilogy by Polina Simons, and then I have the Penguin in Bloom uh, editions of Little Women and Anne of Green Gables. And then below that is um, some YA sci-fi. I don't know if I'm getting all of that in there. So I have the Lunar Chronicles, I have Star Daughter that I got from Owl Crate, uh, Aurora Rising, Aurora Burning, Life Like Deviate, Escaping Eleven, which was really good, and then Angel Mage. Then I have the Old Kingdom series by Garth Nix, The Sight, which is a really old fantasy. And then I have the first and third books in the Clockwork, print, or Clockwork, no, The Infernal Devices trilogy. I'm missing the second one. I really need to get a copy. And then I have the last two books of the Ugly series by Scott Westerfield. If you guys have the first two of that in hardcover, like the original hardcover, and you want to get rid of them, I will like literally buy them from you because I seriously cannot find hardcover copies of Uglies and Pretties. And I really need them because I need them to match and it really bothers me. So anyways, that's what's on the bottom of that shelf. And then the last shelf um, is empty on the top. There's just some dust jackets up there that I don't have books for. And then we have my Throne of Glass slash Crest of the City shelf. So I have the U.S. hardcover and the Waterstones special edition of City uh, Crescent City. I have three Crescent City candles, all from Flick the Wick. I have the special edition Throne of Glass. I have a Barnes and Noble. I actually have two Barnes and Noble editions. Um, this one I just have the jacket flipped around, so you can see the gorgeous artwork by Charlie Bowater. Um, and then I have the original editions of Throne of Glass and then another, um, that edition of Kingdom of Ash is also, the Barnes & Noble edition is just in way better shape, so I didn't want to, like, ruin the dust jacket. <laughs> and then below that I have my Harry Potter and Throne of Glass, um, Nerdy Ink jackets. My Throne of Glass collection's not complete yet, I'm missing two books still, but they're, you know, expensive, so it's been a little bit <laughs> waiting for money to come in for those. And then my next shelf is just random YA fantasy that is the like larger size hardcover. That's why they're not down with the other ones because the other ones are like the smaller size. So I have uh, the Waterstones edition of Court of Miracles, the uh, Let Joy Crate edition of Enchante, I have the L Crate edition of Sorcery of Thorns, the L Crate editions of Crown of Feathers, Heart of Flames, I have a just a regular edition of Kingdom of Souls, regular editions of Six of Crows. I have a uh, Shadow of the Fox and Soul of the Sword. I still need to get Knight of the Dragon. And then I have a hardcover edition of The Raven and the Dove. And then the Caraval Trilogy by Stephanie Garber. Below that are all of my physical um, unread books that I have. So there's The Hunter and the Mage, A Time of Dread, The Girl on the Stars, The Puppy War, The Prison Healer, and Fate of the Fallen. Um, Chosen Ones and The Last Wish are my husband's unread books that he has not read yet. And then the last shelf just has my illustrated Harry Potters plus um, the UK edition of Harry Potter A History of Magic which is basically like the museum in book form and it's freaking amazing to look through. And then the one on the very bottom is The Case of Beasts which is basically like a film companion book for the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them movie. So that's pretty much it. Um, I am actually very impressed that I got this all accomplished before my kids even got home. Um, I was expecting it to take way longer than it did, but it helped me kill some time while my husband is gone and while my kiddos are gone, so I'm really pleased with the way everything turned out. I like the way I have my bookshelf set up, and I really can't wait to start filming in this spot because I think it's going to be so much easier, and I'm really going to have a lot more of an easier time trying to, like, organize things and, you know, have stacks of books out and whatnot, so... I'm looking forward to that as well and also really excited for um, how cozy my living room is now looking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vloggy type thing. Um, literally this is like the only kind of vlogging I could ever do um, at this point in my life which is fine. I'm totally okay with it because I don't think I would be a good vlogger anyways. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop talking and I just um, hope you guys enjoyed this little video and that I will see you in another one. Bye!